Verona versus Sampdoria. Verona plus 100, Sampdoria plus 255. What we've seen, Verona have got a real chance here, uh, Matty. Over two and a half goals at minus 115. The draw is at plus 275. I'm not sure what I'm getting out of Sampdoria, to be honest. Matty, how do you, why is this even on the list? Yeah, so, well, Verona have been very, very kind to me this season, even though they haven't been winning games. Um, I don't really like the over two and a half in this one, even though they're at home. Usually both teams score over two and a half. It's pretty automatic for them, but I don't know what to expect from Sampdoria. And I did not like Verona's substitutions yesterday at the end of the game when they actually scored. The guy that they subbed in and scored the game-tying goal um, had zero goals in his last, like, 45 matches. I believe he played on Genoa last year. Um, I cannot believe that they managed to score after they took out anybody on the field that is really capable of scoring a goal. So props to them for that. They actually pressed the last 20 minutes of the game, almost got another one. Um, but Verona Corners, they're running a 3-5-2 formation right now, which they did not run last year. Um I really like corners for Verona. I mean, I, I feel like you just got to keep taking this until it misses. It's been set at nine and a half every single week. Um, they had 17 yesterday. They had 12 the week before. I think they had 10 the week before that. And I think 11 in uh, the first match of the season. Um, but at home, they sh- should cover this corner battle against Sampdoria. They've really been covering against everybody this season. Uh, I believe they lost the corner battle in the first game of the season. Sampdoria only winning 30% of corner spreads the last two seasons on the road. Um, If Verona opens up at minus half a corner, I'm definitely going to play it. I don't think this is a game I want to take the over nine and a half corners on because the last four head-to-heads had exactly nine corners. So there's either two ways I'm going to play this. If if Verona opens up at minus half a corner or minus one corner, I'm going to play that. If they open at minus one and a half, I'm not going to play it. And if the total is at 10 and a half, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to take exactly nine to 11 corners, which should probably be around like plus 150 or plus 200. And I, I think it's going to fall right in that margin. I think Verona are probably good for at least five, maybe six. Um, Sam Doria probably going to get three or four in this game. I think it will be nine to 11. I think it's a great number for this. I love the fact that in the in the chat, Henry's come up with, it's a corner game, this. They get to know <laughs> the teams and they get to know who the experts are going to go for. Mina, at plus 100, would you go near the home side? No, I wouldn't go for either side in this. Historically, between the two, Sam Dora usually win. Um, having said that, if Verona play a very vertical game, I think they could totally smash Sam Doria. But they're a side, both of those sides, I don't understand. This is a Sampdoria side that can hold Juventus, but also get smashed by Salernitana. They haven't um, they haven't managed uh, to score in their last three away games, and they're away from home for this one. Meanwhile, Verona have lost their last four home matches. So I honestly have no idea which way this is going to go. But I agree with Matty. If it opens up between, for me, in between nine and 11 corners, I'd go for that one too. Yeah, I fancy, uh, I'd just go for uh, Verona minus one because I fancy that Verona always have to attack because they're so dodgy at the back and they're at home and they've got to get a win sooner or later. Um, Yeah, I can see this being like six or seven, no, maybe seven free. Seven free uh, suits everyone, Matty. And anyway, listen, no one doubts it when you go with uh, corners. Anyway, so let's have a little look at the official picks. And I say official picks, it's official. And it's Verona, minus 0.5 corners. There's no price out yet. So Matty is obviously giving you the heads up to make sure that you shop around, you have a good look. And the moment it comes out, jump all over it. Okay. 